Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are gonna be reviewing neck lights. These are the neck lights we are gonna be reviewing today, unboxing and reviewing. I have used this one. I just put it back in the box. I have not opened this one at all. This one was actually sent to me by the company and they've asked me to review it, but I'm giving you an honest review and there's no agreement of I have to say anything particular about it. So I'm just gonna give you the truth about it. Also this cute one here and this with my original go-to, this one, that LED lead goal or whatever it is. So this is the one I've used a lot. These others are good to compare. And let's just see, where should we start? Let's start with the one I know best. So this is a sample of my usual standard neck light. Comes in a cute little box like that. Comes with a charging cable, that's a nice touch. And then here is the neck light. I got this one ages ago. It has a little Velcro, not Velcro, it has a little velvet patch here that's nice and soft along the back of your neck. And it also is rechargeable right here. You just plug in this cable. So you don't need any batteries and it's really lightweight. So it's not as heavy as those other ones can be, the ones that have batteries. And then you just adjust it around your neck and you can move it, bend it however you like. Look, it already comes charged. So on generally, on spotlight, both together and off. And they both are controlled like that. Out of the box works. So what I like about this one, the arms are really nice and strong, they're stable, and the buttons are great. So whatever you get it customized to like be the right way around on your body, it will stay that way the next time you pick it up. So that is the LED GLE, the lead goal. Next is this one, the hanging neck lamp. What I liked about this one is it does not have anything around the back of the neck. It looks just nice and skinny, so you could actually just do whatever you'd like. It's like, looked really nice and lightweight. I did have two of these, I bought two. I kept one to show you, this version here, and I gave one to my boys. That's actually really great. It comes with some sort of instruction. I'm sure it means charge it. Hmm operation manual. Here is this little neck light. It doesn't have anything around the neck. Super lightweight, like much lighter. I should actually weigh them. I'm going to weigh them and we'll t go over the weights. So you can bend it however you like. It's super flexible, super lightweight. This rubber feels like powdery soft, like powdered silicone, and it is really like very flexible, really flexible. Still charges with the a USB charger. And for your buttons, there's only a control on the one side. So this one side has no controls on it. It's just the light. And one side has that little button. Oh, this one has also been in my drawer for a long time. I guess we have to charge it. So before I show you more about this, we have to charge it. You can see that there's a daylight, like a blue light and a daylight light or a warm light and a cool light, but let me go and charge this one. Next, we have the Glaucusent. This had really great reviews on Amazon, so I went ahead and bought one, thinking I might need an upgrade. Look at that. So this is the neck part. It still has a little softy spot for your neck, up a spot to charge. That looks like a C-type, actually. It has, oh, you can, it just still has a charge. This is years old also. Individual buttons for each side, which I do like. I like being able to control them. For the one I use a lot, this kind here, I just use one light. I don't need both of them usually. So the power just lasts forever. Like this one probably, I don't charge it maybe for a month if I'm crocheting with it every night. So I'm impressed that this still has charge. I'm gonna charge all of these completely, and then we'll see how bright they are. What I didn't like about this, this is just too big for me. If you have a big neck, 
or you have a wide neck, uh, this might be great for you. For me, I find it a lot too big. It feels like it ends up on my neck kind of going to the side, like falling over on the side. So I prefer a smaller neck part bit here. It also has this button here. I don't know what that does. We'll have to check into it. So this will also go for charging. And last but not least, we have this cute one here. The features about this, these are swivel heads. So they swivel, plus it's white. It looks fantastic. Love it. So let's unbox this. Now this was sent to me. I've bought the rest of them. This one I did not buy, but I thought it would be great to include it in the review. Oh great, it comes with a wire. I think that is just so considerate. And it charges with a C-type, so that is also modern and great. User manual. Love that. Buttons. Oh, it has a timer. And you can change the temperature. It has a timer. You can swivel the lights and it has adjustable. Okay, that's neat. I like the pictures. I like clear instructions like that. Great. Now, it does feel heavy. Ooh, but it also feels like there's nothing on the back of your neck. Okay, let's see. Oh, they do swivel around. Interesting. All right, this is like a hybrid. This is like a mix. It is wider than that white one or my other white one. So it looks like it'd be more comfortable. This all feels slippery. Oh, and it also tilts. You can kind of tilt it. So I guess it would naturally form at the back of your neck. You can adjust it to make it skinny or big, so you don't have to buy one specific. Oh, cool. And then you have your swivel heads. Interesting. So you still charge it here. Oh, look, you can change the color. I don't know if you can see it. Blue light, yellow light, adjusting the temperature, cute. Oh, and the brightness of it, okay. Oh, and then you could do one light or two lights, I guess. Oh no, it's over here. Oh, so they both have the same. Oh, so I could just rotate them, wait. Look at that, you could rotate both your buttons up. That's cool. Oh, so this button here is if you wanna adjust them both at the same or if you wanna just do one. Okay, that's cool. So let's put all of these neck lights to the test. I am gonna put them all on full brightness and I'm gonna line them up over here. We're gonna see which one lasts the longest. Starting with the good old Leggle. Now this is one of the colored Leggles. They also have them in plain black. So I'm doing the test with the brand new one. This is my old one, but I'll also be showing you the difference about this one a little bit later on in the video. So first one is the yellow Leggle. So now we are gonna do the neck light test at night. So I am gonna put the neck lights on and we're gonna check how bright they are on my little light meter. And then we're also gonna see how long they take to wear out or lose their light. So we're gonna put them in the same spot and then I'll move them to the side. So this is the leg goal. It is 2126. Second one is gonna be the skinny one. That is about 386, but it has a nice warm light to it, like more of a natural daylight, not so blue. That's saying 293. Number three is the glucosent, or however you say it. I'll put it up on the screen. This cute little pink one is number three. So here is the pink one. Okay, now it's 604. That's much better. And this is number four, the luxury version with the little swivel novels, swizzle, swivel nozzles. Now let's see how bright this one is at the brightest setting. It's about 1720 on its brightest setting. So that's pretty good. Now let's see how long they all last. Her 
starting on the far side over there. That is the, my OG. Then there's the skinny one that my kids broke. Then there's the fat pink one. Then there is the swivel white. So we're just gonna see how long this takes for them to go dark. <laughs> That was interesting, right? So now I just want to share a little bit about these different Lego neck lights. So this is the long one I was telling you about. It just has longer arms. So you can see how much longer they are. I think it's the difference also in this back part. Let me show you the difference in the back. Can you see that? This top one is wider widthwise than the little colored one. So it's a longer and it's wider. What it is good for is if you are chestier or larger in the upper body area, it is long enough to get away from your area. So your lights can be here. Apparently with the little Lego, the normal one, it can be quite close to your chest if you're chesty. So if you're chesty, then the long one totally worth it. If you are not chesty, regular one totally worth it. The colored ones have a little bit of bleed. You will, you will see the yellow color shining through. You'll see the blue shining through. And the workaround for that, which does totally work, it's why mine's a bit grubby here, but grimy, is I put black electrical tape around the blue part and then it stops the, the glare from coming through these plastic bits. If you don't like the glare, which I don't like the glare, I don't want to be seeing what I'm working on, not colored lights in front of what I'm working on. Now the OG black ones, they do not bleed through at all. You do not see any light here whatsoever, but you do with the colored ones. So if seeing a glow or seeing colored lights in front of your work isn't your thing, then these colored Legos might not be for you. Go for the OG black one. Good news, these are like way cheaper and I just identify them, I just crocheted. This used to be hot pink Alera. Don't even start me. So dirty old, not hot pink Alera anymore, but it is years and years old. I just did a little bit of crochet around one side. Two reasons, this is a tip for you now, pro tip, pro neck light tip. When it's dark, you're grabbing your neck light, I can feel which side has the crochet on it. Boom, that goes on the right side and it automatically stays exactly how I need it to be to crochet neatly and nicely. The light is just where I need it to be and it'll stay like that every single time. The only way it wouldn't is if you put it on upside down, the wrong way around. So I do put a little bit of an identifier on the right side and then I just grab it, put it on and it's in the exact correct position for me to crochet. So let's start with brightness. I'm just gonna work across the list. Brightness, which light was the brightest with that light meter? My light meter read the yellow Lego. <laughs> this one was the brightest, it was 2100. Second place was the Nevea. It was 1,720 on the light meter. Third place for brightness was this Glucosent, or however you pronounce it, it is up there. This came in at 604. And last place was the cute little skinny one. This one came in at 293. I should also say I charged these all fully, and then I let them sit for about a day, and then I filmed it all together the same day, same time, same day. So everybody had a fair start from the beginning, which now brings us to how long did they last? The first one to turn off was this cutie right here. This little guy lasted two hours and then boop, 
it was done. Second place, the cute pink one, this one lasted six hours. Third place, the cute one, the slick one with the swivel heads. This one lasted eight hours and then it shut off. It has apparently a timer in it that lets it stay on full brightness for eight hours. If you want it to stay not on full brightness, you can turn it to a less I'm not sure, I forget the exact amounts, but basically this will stay on for like 22 hours or 33 hours, depending on the setting you have, if you have it on super bright or just dim. And the winner, the one that lasted the longest, I just got tired of filming, so I, <laughs> I filmed it for 11 plus hours and it was still on, it was dim. It was not super sparkling bright, but it was dim if it, it was still on. So if you were in a pinch or you're out of electricity, it will spit out light until it dies. And then yes, you charge it again. It's definitely usable, although it was not sparkling bright. Next, we are gonna talk about individual lights. Can you control them? Like can each light be controlled individually? Or is it like a group setting, like one button does it for all of the lights? What are your options? Blue light, yellow light, mix of the two. What kind of customizable options do you have with each of these neck lights? With the Lego, you just have the one light and you have two, they're individually set. So each side is controlled. You get a general light, which is usually how I crochet, one light and one, one click on the Lego. You can have two, which turns it into quite a bright spotlight, and you can click it the third time, and that just makes it max bright. And you can do that on both sides. First setting, second, and super bright. But can you change the color of that light, make it more white, make, or make it more blue, make it more yellow? No. It's a light. You can turn it on individually three different times each side, so six different settings. That's it. No muss, no fuss. Our cute little skinny one. Oh, it has one button <laughs> on one side, so there's one button right here, and that does both lights. So you have one, two, three, and off. So you do have a blue, you do have a yellow, and you do have a both together. Next, the pink one. This has a lot of options also. So it does have a button for each side. So one, two, three, and one, two, three on both sides. Plus, it has another button at the back, right there, and that sets your white to blue, or like yellow light to blue light. Is it the greatest spot for a button? No. <laughs> but I guess you don't have to change it all the time. You're gonna know what settings you like, and you're not gonna have to fuss with this one very much. You're just gonna be adjusting the buttons for the nozzles or the lights and yes they are individual so you can just use one if that's what you want to do next for the fancy one this has a lot of buttons this is option mania the other thing to know about it is you have to press and hold the power button for two seconds to turn it on which i guess is good if it gets bumped in your handbag or your bedside table or wherever you keep it it is not going to turn on automatic you have to hold it for two seconds there you go. And again, on the other side. So they're individually controlled. But what they do have that's kind of cool is you can change it from, let me turn it up more. I'll put it on the brightest, maybe you can see. It has two other buttons here on the side. There's buttons there, and again, buttons here. One is for a timer, so you can set it to shut off it after a certain amount of time. And one is like yellow light, blue light. See that yellow? Oh no, that's yellow, blue, mix, yellow, blue, mix. You see that? And that controls it for both lights, so that's kind of cool. The light it gives you is like a big spread. Like it really, it's a really nice quality light. I think the mix of yellow and blue light is really nice on it. It looked the crispest over there. I don't know your opinion, but when you saw that footage, right, it had a pretty good glow to it. So, or a pretty good light, uh, pretty good, what do you call it? Pretty good light. It, it had a nice spread, I'd like to say. So, lots of features for that. And now we're gonna get into comfort. So how comfortable is it? This is an interesting one. It doesn't have any extra padding at the back. It's just this, this rubber, but it is like a rubber. Can you see it swiveling there? So it really does contour to how you'd like it to be. 
And you can make it as wide or as skinny as you like. I don't know. You have to play with it a bit. Because I like it. I don't want it moving around, but I don't want to like be choked out either. And you can move your arms and then these are also adjustable. So I like the swivel. I don't like the swivel because I keep my regular Lego neck light just the way I want it every single time. I just pick it up and put it on. If I put this one off and put it back on, I would have to adjust these swivels every time. Not that that's the end of the world. It's definitely worth it if you really like that crispy glow it gives you. Is it comfortable? It's not uncomfortable. It feels like, it feels like, it feels good, but you do feel it. Like I have been known to go grocery shopping. Like the cashier was like, oh, like just staring at me funny. And I was like, what's even going on? Because I had my neck light on. I like, to I drove in the car, I parked, I went in and did all my shopping with my neck light. Didn't feel a bit of it. This one, yes, I do feel it. I wonder also, cause it feels a bit silicone rubbery if it would be hot on your neck. We can find out. <laughs> Lord knows it won't take me long to feel hot, but that's something, that's, that's one thing about it. So is it comfortable? It's not uncomfortable, but you feel it, you notice it. It feels like a light around your neck. So this cute pink one, it, it's much lighter, it feels lighter, but for me, what happens, what I, I did use this one a little bit, and this is kind of how it started going for me. It would like slip to the side, and then I'm wearing my neck light like this and where I go that way. And then every time you go to actually use it, you're like busy trying to like adjust it again because it did slip around. But that's for me, if you have a different neck size, I know this is a popular light. It's like po most popular on Amazon, but I don't find it comfortable. Like if you bend down to get something and you come back up and then you bend down to get something else. Okay, hold on, let me put it straight. Let me put it straight. Move the other neck lights out of the way right? Pretty straight. So if I go to get something, grab something, look to the side. Oh, it still stayed there actually, didn't it? Well, when I was wearing it before, it was definitely slipping around. So that's why I don't find it that comfortable. I find it like, for me, this is the most awkward. My opinion. Let me know your opinion down below. Let everybody know your opinion down below. This is not me telling you what neck light is right for you. This is me sharing my opinions about these neck lights. Oh, I guess I can show you the difference of this one. So this is the long arm leggle. And then there's the short arm leggle. The long arm, it is fine. I don't love it though because I feel like it's just way out here. Like I want to crochet here and I, it, the arms are just not where I need them to be. Other thing I'm not crazy about for this one, can you see this part back here? That's just bumpy plastic. So the bumps do keep it from sitting on your neck and you're getting all hot and gross, but I'm not a fan of it. The other Legos have a little velvet patch, which feels really nice on your neck. Like it just feels like literally like your shirt. So this to me is like super comfortable. I can pretty much, I need to, I need a soundtrack for Saturday Night Fever. But I feel like I could Saturday Night Fever in this thing and it would be just where I wanted it to be. It would like stay there. It's like right, it's right, the right size for my neck. And I haven't got this one situated yet. This is just brand new with you. But this one, the Lego, is very comfortable for me. So then the little skinny one without anything here, so, so great. So this feels great. It feels, I could dance again. I could do my Saturday Night Fever. It is fabulous. I could bend it how I, want it, how I wanted it to be. I think it's great. Now let me tell you the bad part about this neck light. No, not this one exactly. I bought two, the black one. So I kept the white one for me, of course, and I gave the black one to my kids for reading and all the rest of it. I thought it'd be really cute because you could like bend it around like a bunk bed post or like whatever. It's all super flexible. So you could like bend it into any shape you like and it totally stays put. It's so comfortable. If I could pick one for comfort, I would pick this one. I'd be like, it's so comfortable. I love it. Is it practical? No. Is it going to break? Yes. Is it comfortable? Yes. Would I look for another style like this? Yes. Okay, now let's talk about weight. 
Okay, this cute one is the lightest, which might explain why it's the most comfortable. It is only 99 grams. The other thing I liked about it, because I'm like, it only lasted for two hours. It broke, my kids broke theirs. But you know what I like about it? On the back of the package, oh, that's what the black one looks like, by the way. On the back of the package, it tells you straight up, it lasts for two to three hours. Battery working time is three hours, so that's probably not on the brightest setting. It's two hours on the brightest setting. And it weighs 96 grams. Well, on my scale, it weighed 99 grams. So we can add three grams to all the other neck lights if you want. It was still 99 grams and really comfortable, so flexible, just like not, enough, not good enough quality to suggest that you buy. But intriguing, I'd say it's intriguing. I'd look for a better one. And I like that they were honest on the back of the package, minus the three grams here or there, but they said it works for three hours. And I said, all right. Also the brightness, it has the brightness on here and it has 3000, which I guess if we take off a zero it might match what my light said, which is 293, right? So it was pretty accurate back here. And I appreciate that. The other packages had nothing about it on the packaging. So I appreciate the honesty on this, although didn't do us any good. The next lightest is Legal. Legal is 110 grams. So on my, it's like 11 grams heavier. So that's probably why it's also like so comfortable for me because it's lightweight. So 11, 110 grams for the Legal. 137 for the pink one, 137 grams. So that's not bad either, but I think it's the slippage factor that I'm not crazy about for this one. And then the fancy one, this weighs in at 195 grams. I'll put ounces on the screen so you can see what that is in ounces if you're an ounce person. But this one, I guess that's why it feels like you can feel it on your neck is because it's almost 200 grams. So if you think of that as two balls of yarn in weight, that would be lovely. Hmm? <laughs> two balls of yarn on your neck in a little, like, you know, I guess 200 grams is not the end of the world, but that, that's one of the downsides, I guess, for this light here. So now let's talk price, because we all know it comes down to what comes out of your pocket. The little cute one, we're gonna have to just toss that one out because you can't buy it anymore. I can't find it anywhere. And if it's also gonna break, if you have kids in the house, they're gonna like really enjoy breaking it. Kind of like a glow stick, you know, like a glow stick and you're like quack, quack, that's what it feels like. It feels like a glow stick that is not yet glowing, but really wants to. So this one out of the running, even though very comfortable. Now our Legos, there's two different prices for Legos. The Lego with the colors, so the cute one, you're like, it's so charming, it's so cute. $23.99, so $24 for the Lego neck light. Or if you get it in black, so just the plain black one, guess how much you save? Guess how much you save if you don't need to have it in a color, if you just wanna get it in black and then personalize it yourself, how much do you save? $10, what, $10, that's almost half price. I'll put links for all these down below. $13.99 for a neck light that doesn't, the light doesn't bleed out from the little lights down there. Boom, great deal. So that's the price difference here. The pink one is $21.99, so in keeping with the other prices for neck lights these days, $21.99. And our fancy one is $19.99. So with all the bells and whistles and the cute light on it, or the gorgeous light really, is 20 bucks, so $19.99. And because this one was sent to me to review, they are giving you a discount on it. So that is a discount coming out. I'll put the code down below. You just type that in when you're, I'll put the link to order it and I'll put the code you can put in to save. On the white version, it comes in a bunch of other versions actually. But if you want the white color, they will give you a coupon for that. And that coupon is good for March. So after March, if you're watching after March 2024, sorry about that, but it's still a good light if you like that, the quality of light it gives you. So on my complicated sheet, I gave stars. I gave a maximum of four stars for whatever neck light one in that category down to a one star for not winning in that category. 
So now I'm gonna tell you which neck light wins in which category, because you might have a preference of like what is most important to you. Is it comfort? Is it light? Is it changing yellow and blue light or mixing them for your eyes? Is it how long it lasts? Is it the price? So I'm gonna be telling you which one won in each category and then how I added up all the scores to pick the all, all in all winner. I'm also gonna be tossing out the yellow Lego because there's no point spending $10 on the same light that actually is worse because the light seeps out from this plastic at the ends. Uh, it's just not worth $10 more than the other light. So I'm gonna say no to the yellow one. For brightness, it is the Legal. That was the brightest by quite a bit, 2100. The next one was 1720. Individual lights. The only one that didn't have individual lights was this skinny one here. They all had individual lights, except for this little wire guy. Mix of blue and yellow, or if you can customize, the only one that didn't have it is the Legal. So if yellow light, blue light, mixing yellow light, blue light is important to you, then Legal is not for you. For glowing lights at the end, Legal absolutely didn't glow. The glu glucoscent, I don't know how to say it. This, it glows a little bit from this plastic here right at the end. So it does have a bit of a glow to it. The fancy one didn't glow. And this little guy also didn't glow. So the only one that has a bit of a glow left in the running, the colored Lego obviously did. I threw it out. Ha! Well, I didn't throw it out, but we're not, we're not talking about it anymore. And the pink one. So those had a bit of glow at the end. But yes, you can fix it just wrapping a little bit of electrical tape around the ends if you're like really stuck on, I really want that, or you already bought it and it's bugging you, just wrap a little bit of electro ta rec electrical tape at the end and it'll totally block the light. For comfort, the little skinny guy one. Yeah, the skinny guy one. And if the skinny guy is out of the running, well then it would be Lego for me that is the most comfortable. For weight, the skinny guy won, again, but again, not really in the running anymore. After that, it was the Legal that is the lightest. This is 110 grams. And then how long they lasted, the winner is the Legal. But second would also be this guy here. I think they both work great for eight hours. This guy shuts off at eight hours. This guy doesn't shut off at eight hours, but the light does slowly dim. So it depends on what you like with that. So what to do is you pick between these two. That's my suggestion. Links down below. You can go shop around for them. But these would be the two I would pick from. So what neck light is best for you? What's the most important feature and which one do you think you would be getting? If you have one of these or a different brand, tell us all about it, your experience with it in the comments under this video. So whoever is looking for a neck light can just come here and find all the current information they need. I know things change over time, but these are some pretty fabulous neck lights. So let me know your favorite down below and I'm waiting for you in that video right there. <laughs> Stay hooked.